day viewers, my name is Andre Onduku and with my husband we pastor the Chapel of Grace, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of uh, God based in Bradford, West Yorkshire. It's my honor to present to you today the Open Heavens Reflections based on the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Our topic today asks us a question, still keeping old pals? And the Bible passage is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 to 24. It says, This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk, in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lewdness, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned Christ. Indeed, you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man, which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. A memory verse is Ephesians 4:24. It says, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. We used to have a lovely professor with us in, in, and one of the most profound things he used to say was, since you met Jesus, what did he take away from you? We must not forget the admonition of the Lord that we must not love the world and all the attractions in the world. Do you still go around with the friends you used to have before you came to know the Lord, those that are not followers of God themselves but you are still uh, as close with them now as you were then? Remember, friendship with the world is enmity with the Lord. If you still resort to things you used to do when you, are in the, when you were in the world, then you need to check your salvation. There must be a change. The Bible is clear that you must not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, and that's in 2 Corinthians 6, 14 to 16. The Bible says that what has darkness got to do with light? Today, I've come to tell you that you need to stop those ungodly relationships and cleave onto the Lord. Our action point today is that some people have bars in their houses. If you are truly saved, such bars should not accommodate any alcoholic drink. So that's our admonition for today, that we need to put off the old and cleave to what is new. The Bible said that old things have passed away and all has become new. So today I want to encourage us that once we have made a commitment to walk with Jesus, let us put everything else aside and only those things which represent our relationship with Christ is what we should move forward with. And I believe that that will help us to stand firm in the Lord. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure to be with you. Till we see you again, God bless you.